Excellency Jessica Arupo, the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda, and our chief guest today, my Lord, the Honorable Justice Alphonse Chigamoe Hoin Dolo, the Honorable Chief Justice of Uganda, my Lords, the Honorable Justices and Judges of the Courts of Judicature, my Lord, the Right Reverend Giuseppe Philippe, Filippi, the patron of the Catholic Lawyers Society International and our main celebrant today, the very Reverend Monsignor Dr. Philip Locker, the Secretary General of the Uganda Episcopal Conference, members of the clergy, the Catholic Royal Society Board, management, administration and staff, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, everyone. It's a pleasure to see you here this afternoon, and I'm particularly delighted that uh, the Catholic Lawyers Society International has made it possible for me to discover this place because this is the first time I've stepped here today. Um, it is an honor for me to be here to launch the Catholic Lawyers Society International. And this is obviously a momentous occasion and I would like to extend my congratulations to the Catholic Lawyers Society International President, Mr. Severino Tinovusinja and his team for working tirelessly to bring this organization to fruition. As a society of Roman Catholic lawyers from around the world, you are dedicated to promoting justice for all, as you said in your speech. Your commitment to upholding the highest standards of integrity and competence in the study, teaching, and practice of, the, of law is truly admirable. In a world that is faced with numerous challenges, again, that Severino listed, such as injustice, unemployment, poverty, violence, and war, it is gratifying to see an organization such as yours that is devoted to making a positive impact on society. Your vision of being an institution and center of excellence in championing the rule of law and justice for all is one that I wholeheartedly support. Your motto, Justicia Omnibus, or Justice for All, is a powerful reminder of the importance of promoting justice in all aspects of life, as our Emeritus Bishop clearly spelled out in his homily. I am especially inspired by your patron saint, Saint John Paul II, who was a champion of peace and justice. His emphasis on respect for the principles of subsidiarity, rule of law, good governance, and accountability is as relevant today as to us in his lifetime. As lawyers, you are in a unique position to understand the real issues and problems facing society. Your responsibility is not only to find legal solutions, but also to identify root causes and find concrete solutions to the challenges 
that people and society as a whole are facing. I'm glad to hear that the Catholic Lawyers Society International plan to tackle a range of issues in collaboration with the governments, the Catholic Church, and other stakeholders. Your efforts to protect life and health find a lasting solution to the growing phenomenon of street children and the disabled. Tackle the root causes of slums. Protect the environment. Promote education and skills development. Provide legal aid and pro bono services to those who need them. Provide continuing legal education and engage in strategic litigation are all commendable. As we embark on these tasks, I would like to emphasize the importance of operating in an environment that is free from corruption. I could not resist in our time to make this point. It is not only relevant to Uganda, but it's true the world over. I urge all lawyers to be promoters of a clean legal system. Lawyers in Uganda, especially the good ones that I know, must realize that there is greater injustice to the Ugandan people when they play for time or employ tactics in legal proceedings or in quest to frustrate justice or to get richer at the expense of real justice for the majority of our population. After all, the Holy Book proclaims that a good name is better than riches. It is my humble submission, Madam Vice President, that as the good agents of social change, which they must be, lawyers in the entire world should be in the front line, in the forefront, in the reorientation of the mindset of the Ugandan people and people of all countries of the world in the renewed fight against corruption and the social and economic renaissance generally. They must all individually and collectively commit to the creation of a clean legal system which is a sign canon to defeating corruption. As a clean legal system must come from unblemished characters, corruption within the legal profession, grand or petty, must be eradicated first. We need credible transaction legal advisors. We need credible prosecutors, credible defense counsel, and of course, credible adjudicators, if the law is to be truly advanced as an instrument for economic growth, social order, and justice for all the people of the world. Look around you. Believe in your country and its dream of dignity and economic transformation. Peace through steady progress. In our case in Uganda, we should together build a better Uganda where our children and our grandchildren and their children will live in peace and dignity. Our tomorrow should be better than today. In this spirit, let each one of us do his best or her best, knowing that the battle is ultimately the Lord's glory, which becomes glory of our country, Uganda. An environment where justice thrives is a necessary condition, as I've just said, for corruption to diminish. Therefore, I encourage you to strive to create an environment where justice thrives so that society can benefit from your efforts. 
I would like to commend the Catholic Royal Society International for its commitment to promoting justice for all people. I wish you every success in your endeavors and look forward to seeing the positive impact you will have on society. Finally, I would like to once again thank you and your team, the leaders of the Catholic Lawyers Society International, for inviting me. I, I was called a special guest here, and uh, having looked around, now I know why. Because uh, I had the question in my mind all along, why am I invited as a special guest? Now I have the answer. But thank you for inviting me today, and thank you, uh, Catholic Lawyers Society International, for entrusting me with the responsibility of being the, I don't remember what Severino called me, is it the chair or the coordinator of the fundraising effort of the Catholic Lawyers Society International worldwide for Karamoja University. But what a responsibility. I stand before you, ladies and gentlemen, deeply touched and inspired by your confidence in me. With boundless gratitude for that confidence placed in me and with an unswerving resolve to honor that trust, I humbly, I humbly accept the appointment for that regional and international work to raise the funds to support the university whose purpose is transformation of society. I hope for my part that I can continue to be of service to you all in the years to come. Thank you. God bless you.